Hello, this is Lisa Speaker, and I'm an archivist with the Electronic Records Branch of the North Carolina State Archives. This tutorial introduces you to Bagit and is intended for data creators and records managers who need a reliable mechanism to package and transfer collections of files from one system to another. The tutorial is organized into four parts, and we'll start by offering a general description of the Bagot tool and its general use scenario, including an overview of the inter-system file transfer process and how Bagot can assist you in reliably transferring files from one system to another. In part two, we'll continue with instructions for installing Bagot on your computer. Parts three and four provide a case study demonstration on how to use Bagot, with part three showing how to create, verify, and transfer a bag, and part four showing how to receive a bag, verify the bag's contents have been transferred intact, and finally extract the files from the bag. You may want to download the Bagot user guide and follow along in that as we go through the presentation, as this will provide the details for many aspects of the presentation. This first section takes approximately 10 minutes to complete. A situation we commonly encounter is the need to transfer several files from one system to another. It's not unusual for a data creator to create several files, organize them into one or more folders, and then want to transfer them, for example to the Department of Cultural Resources. You are likely familiar with basic file transfer techniques such as copying files to a network share drive or to an external portable storage device such as a USB attachable portable disk or flash drive. However, as files are copied from one device to another, there is always the chance that the data may become corrupted. Bagot provides a program to reliably copy and transfer files between systems, which is important to ensure the validity and authenticity of the transferred files. For stewards responsible for the management of public records, it's critical to ensure that when transferring files from one system to another, that they arrive intact and complete. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how you can use Bagot to, number one, package files into a bag to transfer them, and number two, how to verify that after you've transferred the files that the integrity of those files was maintained through the copy and transfer process. You have two options for transferring the files. You can create the bag on either a a shared network drive that both the sender and receiver have access to via the network. This may be mapped, for example, to your iDrive. Or alternatively, you could use a USB attached removable drive, such as a portable drive or a flash drive, that will be detached from the sender's computer, carried to the receiver's computer, and attached to the receiver's computer to retrieve the files. You can use whichever mechanism is most convenient and feasible for both you and your file transfer partner. Bagot is a command-driven utility that you will run through a DOS command window. The Create option of Bagot allows you to create a bag, which is a logical package of files and or folders that you want to transfer. The Verify Valid option allows you to verify that the files in the bag match the original files that were placed in the bag. So therefore the Bagot command allows you to create a bag and verify the bag. The Verify Valid will be run by both the bag creator to make sure that the bag was successfully created and by the bag receiver to verify that a collection of transfer files have arrived unchanged. Let's look at what the general process looks like for a file sender to package, verify, and send a bag, and for the file receiver to verify and unpack the received bag. In our example scenario, we have a collection of governor executive orders that we want to transfer to the Department of Cultural Resources. They are organized into a series of folders arranged by year for 2005, 2006, 2007, and 2008. In our example, we will use a USB portable drive to transfer the files. Note that the files are stored on our local shared drive, denoted by the H drive, and our USB attachable portable drive will be available via the G drive. So let's look at the general sequence of steps to perform this transfer. Later in the tutorial, we will run a demonstration to demonstrate how you can complete all of these steps on your computer. Step 1 is for the data creator to prepare the files for transfer, which may entail validating the content, validating the metadata, or running a virus check on the files to make sure that they are clean prior to transferring the files. Note that with Bagot you can transfer one or many files or folders. In Step 2, the data sender is going to plug the portable drive into his computer via the USB connection. And once again in our case, we will assume that the portable disk appears at the G drive. After the data creator has attached the portable drive to his computer, he's ready to create a bag on the portable disk. 
So we're going to use the bag it command to create a bag, and he can direct bag it to create the bag directly onto the portable disk device. If the sender was using a network accessible share drive, this step would be performed exactly the same way, except he would use the drive letter for his shared network drive, such as the I drive, if that is where your internet shared drive is located, as opposed to the drive letter for the USB attached portable disk drive that we see here. Now in step 3, the bag is on the portable disk. But before sending the disk to the receiver, the sender should verify the bag and verify that the bag has been created correctly. So the sender will run the bag at verify valid option to make sure that the bag was successfully created before sending it to the receiver. The last step for the data sender is to safely disconnect the USB disk device. There is a way that he should do this through his operating system so that the files are properly closed. And I will demonstrate that to you when we go through the demonstration portion of this presentation. And now that the portable disk has been disconnected from the sender's computer, he can transfer that drive to the data receiver. If instead of using a portable disk device, the sender is transferring files via a shared network drive, there is no other transfer step that either the sender or receiver will need to perform, since once the bag is created on the shared network drive, it will be immediately available to the receiver. Now that the receiver has received the portable disk, she will plug it into her computer via the USB attachment. And once again, if the file has been transferred via a shared network drive, the receiver will not have to go through this step, as she will be able to access the bag directly through the shared drive connected via the network. Likewise, on the receiver side, we will assume that the portable disk has been attached to the G drive on her computer. In step 6, the receiver will copy the bag from the USB attached portable disk to a local staging folder on her local drive. The staging folder provides a safe place to perform any validation and or preparation on the file prior to bringing it in to the intended destination directory. In this case, our receiver has a folder called Bag at Staging that she will use as her primary staging folder to prepare her bags. In step 7, the data receiver is going to verify the bag. This is that critical step that the data receiver will run to ensure that the files have been transferred, are still intact, and are valid. This verify step is a key value of the Bagot command, and whether you have one single file or hundreds of files across several folders, Bagot can verify the entire collection of files with the invocation of one command. It's a good idea for the data receiver to run a virus check on the bag once she has received it and verified it, just to make sure that she is not bringing any viruses into her system. You may need to get some assistance from your IT support representative to determine how you can run a virus checking program on your local computer on files of your choice. And then the final step for the data receiver is to unpack the bag and to bring those files into her local working space. And one of the benefits of the bag command is that you can extract files from the bag using your traditional file copy tools such as Window Explorer. You don't need any other special utilities to extract the files from the bag, as you do when using tools like WinZip. Here we see the entire sequence of steps, from the data creator creating, verifying, and transferring the bag, to the data receiver receiving, verifying, and unpacking the bag. This may be a good diagram to keep in mind as you are learning to use Bagot to either send and or receive files, and you can find a copy of it in the Bagot user guide for your reference. This concludes the first part of the tutorial, and you should now have an understanding of the Bagot tool and the general process used to create a bag, verify a bag, transfer a bag, verify a transferred bag, and unpack the bag. In part two, I will demonstrate how you can install Bagot on your computer. In part 3, I will demonstrate the process steps 1 through 4 on how to create and verify a bag. And in part 4, I will demonstrate steps 5 through 8, showing how to retrieve, verify, and unpack a bag. If your IT support representative has installed Bagot on your computer for you, you can proceed to either part 3 to learn how to create a bag, or part 4 to learn how to receive and unpack a bag. I hope you have found this introduction to Bagot helpful and informative, and I appreciate your time to view part 1 of the Bagot tutorial.